It's 4.30 a.m. and the first event of Trek is underway, the service drive. This event is designed to test technical skills and the ability to follow instructions. Using their GPS devices, the competitors begin by finding their keys and are locating coordinates for their vehicles. Now it's a race to locate their discoveries in the dark, one of the many sprints they'll be running today. You're right, Sally. And at this altitude, they're going to feel the pain fast. Reaching their discovery at point A, they find new instructions and must now hunt for their tire and jack. Once they've mounted the tire, they drive to point B, where they winch the vehicle over a log obstacle, re-spool the winch, and drive to point C. Here they lay a short track of planks and extend it as they drive to point D. Finally, they push their discovery to the finish. 180 degrees, 52 yards. Using compass bearings, they're looking for their tires and jacks, which are hidden out there in the dark about 100 yards. Okay, that's over there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks like Eden Prairie's managed to find theirs. Get it on. And they'll be first off to point B, where they're going to use the winch. This is a tough go. They have to pull the cable out nearly 90 feet, hook it to a ground anchor, and then winch over a log obstacle under the watchful eye of critical judges. If they cross or tangle the winch cable, they have to stop, fix it, and go from there. Unhook! And it's easy to get the cable tangled when winching quickly, so Eden Prairie's fast time here is even more impressive. And they're the first off to point C, where they have to get a pile of planks and build a track as they slowly and carefully drive across 100 feet. And remember, they're doing all this at 9,000 feet elevation. Looks like Eden Prairie's lead has been cut. That's Buckhead and Denver South closing the gap. As if hauling all those boards wasn't enough, now Eden Prairie gets to push their vehicle the last 100 feet, and they'd better hustle. Denver South has just passed Buckhead, and we've got a horse race. But it's Eden Prairie that wins the day's first event. Nice job, man. Good job. There you go. Land Rover Eden Prairie takes the early lead with Denver South second and Buckhead third. With the sun coming up, Sally's all set at the site of our next competition. As we begin the rotation of events, I'm at the Land Rover Cross with the team from Shelburne, Vermont, the Automaster. Tell me, what did you guys do to prepare for the track event overall? Well, we set up a course at our uh, service manager's house. We spent a lot of time in the vehicles okay, themselves, just getting used Three, to the feel of the vehicle. Two, so. One, go! Training with their vehicles before the finals was a good idea. With the disappointing fourth place in the service drive, the Automaster needs to turn in a good time. These guys are hauling, but it takes more than speed to win at autocross. It's a combination of speed and accuracy. Uh, each driver gets three laps. Go! There's a 10 second penalty for each cone they knock over, 20 seconds for missing a gate completely. Eden Prairie is on course. They just won the service drive, but need to be careful. They did not have the fastest time in the regional trials in this event. Judges are keeping a close lookout for careless driving. Drivers that tend to think that the gas pedal is a percussion instrument that uh, tends to give the best rise out of the judges here. Now it's Buckhead's turn. I know they're disappointed with their third place in the service drive, and they're desperate to rack up more points. The vehicles used here are Land Rover Discoveries, with 217 horsepower aluminum V8 engines, five-speed automatic transmissions, and permanent four-wheel drive with locking center differential. They're essentially stock, with the addition of a worn winch. This Buckhead team has mastered the precision driving events. Their fast and smooth technique has paid off. They've taken first place in the autocross. And next up is the Time, Speed, and Distance Rally. And these guys from Eden Prairie Land Rover near Minneapolis are really good at this. Hey, what's your secret? We were up past midnight last night doing all the math. Two, one, go. Good luck, guys. That's rally math Wayne's talking about. Now, the object of a Time, Speed, and Distance Rally is not getting from place to place in the fastest time possible, 
but at exactly the right time, maintaining a preset average speed while following a tulip chart. Tulip charts are basically little stick figures that uh, kind of indicate what intersection you're at. And then the right mileage at the right tulip gives you the right turn to go. Keeping on time is absolutely the hardest part because you've got to make sure you're on time for every intersection. Land Rover Naperville is trying to recover from their slow start in the service drive. Spotters along the 15-mile course record the time as they pass through hidden checkpoints. There. We have to come to T-junction, which is next. This course is more difficult in the finals and is a real headache this time for Buckhead, who took first place in the regional trials. That late-night rally math has paid off for Eden Prairie. They take the TSD event, their second victory of the day. Coming up next, Trek Trials.